The Pacific nation of Fiji is tonight on a knife's edge as concerns grow over a potential military coup. The current Prime Minister is refusing to concede defeat after last week's elections and there's further unrest in nearby Papua New Guinea as Beijing bankrolls a new military hospital there. At a military parade in Papua New Guinea, the Chief of Defence addresses his troops, telling them China will pay for a new $13 million military hospital at the Tarama Barracks, a base Defence Minister Richard Miles visited in October. Experts fear it could lead to a deeper Chinese military presence in the Pacific nation. In the future, if a military base were to be established, it would give them the ability to forward deploy forces much closer to Australia. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says it's nothing to worry about. I'll be visiting. Uh, Papua New Guinea uh, in January. I look forward uh, to uh, that visit. His government's immediate concern is with another Pacific nation, Fiji. Following last week's election, Prime Minister Frank Bainamarama is refusing to concede defeat, despite opposition parties forming a combined majority. He's now called in the military. It's meant to intimidate uh, critics to prevent uh, the coalition from holding together. Fiji is a popular holiday destination for Australians and many will visit the island this summer. Experts say the risk of conflict is low. I wouldn't expect if it is a military coup that there would be significant uh, disruption. The federal government is treading very lightly on this issue but it is implied that Australia will send support likely in the form of military or police if needed. Fiji will remain an important partner of Australia. We stand ready to work with uh, whoever forms government in Fiji. Whenever that happens.